My name is David Horton. I'm the president and CEO of Schweitzer Helicopters based here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we acquired the top design and all the rights and uh, equipment associated to the 269 model helicopter from Sikorsky uh, Lockheed Martin in uh, January of 2018. We're based in Fort Worth. I currently have 25 employees with two different locations and we're uh, excited to be here part of HAI 2022. Uh, in previous role, I was the president and general manager of Schweitzer Aircraft Corporation in Elmira, New York. Uh, part of my responsibility was the care and feeding and support of the 269 model helicopters. Um, after, uh, after I subsequently left Sikorsky, uh, they shut down the facility in Elmira, moved all the commercial activity to Coatesville, Pennsylvania. Uh, and this product, uh, for a number of different reasons, didn't really fit the mold in which uh, Sikorsky wanted to advance their uh, commercial helicopter operations. And so we saw an opportunity to take it, uh, purchase it, and, uh, and really uh, give it the life and the love that it needs in order to be you know, successful for the future. So the original design was done in the late 50s by Hughes Tool Company, uh, one of the many companies that Howard Hughes uh, owned and operated. Uh, the helicopter was evolved into the uh, 269C. Uh, from the mid-60s till the uh, late 80s, there was approximately uh, 850 of these variants uh, with the U.S. Army. Uh, the majority of them out of Fort Walters, uh, Texas there, right outside of Fort Worth, uh, training uh, helicopter pilots to participate in Vietnam. Uh, in 1984, the uh, top design and the intellectual property was purchased uh, by uh, Schweitzer Aircraft Corporation in Elmira from the Hughes Tool Company and uh, it resided there until uh, they closed the facility in uh, 20, uh, 2011. So the 269C that you see behind me here is a, uh, is a derivative of the original helicopters uh, designed and built by Hughes Tool Company. Uh, this helicopter is powered by a four-cylinder air-cooled engine manufactured by Lycoming, approximately 190 horses, uh, continuous operation. Uh, it's uh, driven, the drivetrain is driven through a series of eight belts. Uh, it's got a main uh, gearbox, tailrotor gearbox uh, with no hydraulic assist uh, throughout the flight controls. Fully articulated hub, utilizes dampers on the main, uh, main rotor hub as well as the uh, landing gear in order to uh, eliminate the uh, possibility of uh, ground resonance. Um, the crash resistance or the crash, uh, crash worthiness of the helicopter has been proven its design over and over again. It's a very functional helicopter, uh, performs lots of different roles, uh, agricultural application, cattle mustering, uh, obviously training, law enforcement, fish spotting, uh, the list goes on. Uh, but it's a very uh, versatile helicopter uh, for, its, uh, for its size. The operators of Schweitzer helicopters around the world were really uh, struggling to keep the uh, fleet going. Uh, during the, uh, the time where Sikorsky actually managed the product line, uh, after 2011 up to the time that we purchased the business in 2018, there were parts that were hard to obtain. And so our, our strategy when we bought the business was to get the fleet operational by providing uh, a very robust um, supply chain to support the existing fleet. And so the first part of what we've done, we feel like we've accomplished that, that effort. The second part of our business plan is what we're executing now. Uh, this helicopter you see behind us is the second production helicopter uh, from Schweitzer Helicopters as produced in Fort Worth, Texas. This will be delivered to a customer in uh, South America in the next coming weeks and uh, uh, we have uh, plans to complete and deliver 12 helicopters this year and then uh, many more in the following years. It's very positive that we're bringing back an iconic brand uh, where there is a lot of uh, uh, history, a lot of positive history around what we, what we have been uh, been good stewards about uh, maintaining. Uh, the other part is uh, a little apprehension uh, based on Schweitzer itself, our company. They want to make sure that if they make a commitment back to this model line that we're going to be there to support them. I think we've done a very good job over the last several years of showing our commitment by spending the money to ensure that the supply chain is intact, that we have parts on the shelf, and that we have the support needed to keep our uh, operators around the world flying. We uh, initially uh, acquired uh, a, a quite, a, quite a bit of inventory from Sikorsky, uh, but we initially applied for our production certificate and was awarded our initial production certificate based on our quality manual, I guess probably the middle of 2019. Uh, and so this production certificate uh, issued by the Fort Worth Mido 
Manufacturing Inspection District Office, uh, is really related to uh, articles only. So what this allows us to do is if we build uh, drive shafts or if we build uh, hub assemblies, uh, these parts can be built and delivered uh, to our customers. Um, now as we start building uh, additional helicopters, uh, the production certificate will have uh, the 269C and C1 added to the approval for the production certificate. So as we complete the helicopter behind us and deliver it to the customer, that's one step closer to having our production certificate modified to include the production of the uh, 269C and C1. The original uh, plan for the business acquisition was to uh, provide a series or a set of uh, parts to uh, a customer in China for their assembly in China to provide uh, 300C helicopters to their indigenous population. Uh, they are just a licensee, they don't, they don't own any of our company, they're not part of anything we do here in the United States. Uh, there's a management agreement between the FAA in Washington, D.C. and the CAAC uh, in China, and that's what regulates our relationship. Current, current product line exists of the 300C that you see behind me, or the 269C. Uh, the 269C1 is really the CBI, or the training version. Uh, the differences really are the engine horsepower and some of the uh, life-limiting components. Uh, the CBI was developed for training in mind, where it is a right-hand drive uh, helicopter. The C model is a left-hand drive helicopter, as that you can put in, you know, more than uh, one additional person and, and use it for personnel transport. Uh, these two helicopters will be initially uh, added to our production certificate, so we can produce them in Fort Worth, Texas. The S333 is our turbine-powered helicopter, and it's operated around the world by primarily. Uh, military uh, training uh, entities. Uh, this helicopter has performed well previously in the U.S. in law enforcement applications, and we believe there's a future for the S333. Uh, for us, we have to have a launch customer and we have to have uh, some level of uh, investment so that we could uh, begin the, uh, the, uh, the efforts of uh, assembling new S33 helicopters. So we anticipate that that will happen in the future, but we currently don't have a time frame. So our aircraft are really marketed through our uh, service centers. We have 15 service centers around the world. Uh, we're gonna have to augment that. We're in the process of doing that out of our headquarters in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, so you'll see a bunch more uh, information uh, about Schweitzer in the helicopter space in the next coming months as we ramp up production. Uh, we're gonna have to ramp up uh, sales. And so initially, that's, uh, that was the initial plan, is to uh, establish the service centers, which we have, uh, and then utilize the service centers as the initial sale point. And then again, we'll augment it with uh, additional personnel out of Fort Worth. If you came to our factory today uh, in Fort Worth, Texas, you would see uh, shelves and shelves of parts with uh, people receiving and shipping parts every day. Uh, you would see a three bay assembly area for final assembly of helicopters. All three would be full with helicopters uh, partially assembled, almost to uh, completely assembled helicopters uh, in these bays. And uh, you would see uh, in our other facility, very close to our, our primary location, uh, a place where we do uh, MRO uh, refurbishments for helicopters. Uh, we have test stands for transmissions prior to uh, final assembly. So it would be a very busy place, uh, but something we're super proud of. So currently the, uh, the manufacture of the parts really happens through a supply chain. Uh, we intend to be somewhat vertically integrated, but it's going to be uh, specific to what we need and the things that are most important to us. So we're not going to try to be all of you know, the manufacturing process from A to Z, uh, but we will be, uh, we will be adding uh, capabilities within our company uh, to be able to you know, have some vertical integration to support our products. We believe some of the key aspects of our helicopters and the reason it, uh, it is a, a very viable product in the helicopter market space today are, are operability. Uh, these helicopters uh, go to work each day. Uh, they, they put uh, food on the table. They fund the retirement accounts. They put kids through college. They're really working machines. And the other real big aspect that we're super proud of is the safety uh, uh, record of this helicopter. It's one of the safest helicopters ever produced. and. Uh, so between those two and the uh, ability to uh, you know, use it in multi-different you know, functions in the utility world, 
um, it, it becomes a very, very strong asset in the light helicopter market. We find people uh, to assemble our helicopters, uh, really we, we grow them within our company. We have people that are interested in doing what we're doing and, and really maintaining a legacy, uh, legacy line of helicopters. Uh, we are a small company today, obviously we're gonna grow, but what we're doing is very exciting. So having people that are interested in what we're doing uh, and the excitement we have around what we're doing uh, definitely entices uh, people to want to work for our company at Switzer. Once we get there, we have a pretty robust training outline specifically designed for the task that we ask these employees to do. And uh, then we try the very best we can to give them opportunities to expand their horizons within our company. We want to have long-term employees and we want them to grow and help our company grow. So alternative fuels or alternative propulsion systems is always important to us here at Schweitzer. Uh, our thought currently is that the, elect the electric route for what we do with the pure helicopter, uh, we believe that the technology is not quite there yet and it's gonna take a, a period of time to do that. Uh, we can see with battery you know, evolution and electric motor uh, power consumption that it, you know, that it in the future uh, sometime in the future that it could be a, a real possibility. The other thing that we look at is hydrogen power, but the other, the, the issue with hydrogen power from our standpoint is there's a couple of different ways to cut that, cut that cake and we're really not sure which one is going to make the most sense. So we're always uh, very uh, uh, curious about what other companies are doing, both in the rotary wing world, rotary wing world as well as the fixed wing world, uh, to find out how they're utilizing that, that form of energy in order to uh, uh, produce uh, propulsion for fixed wing and helicopters. Currently, we are part of uh, GAMMA and GAMMA's initiative for EAGLE, uh, which is to develop a unleaded, a totally unleaded uh, 100 octane fuel. It's something we highly support and we're, we're backing that, that process uh, to the extent that, that we need to at Schweitzer. Uh, with our turbine-powered helicopter, we also follow the SAF, or the you know the organic uh, uh, jet A, and uh, we 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 highly support that that those efforts too. So, uh, short term, the the two fuel alternatives are are what we really focus on today. Uh, longer term will be a, another alternative power uh, for our helicopters. We appreciate all of our customers who fly our 269 uh, helicopters around the world and. Uh, we can't tell you how much we appreciate you uh, having the trust in us to support your fleet.